we do get quite a few people that want to grow something different but don't know where to necessarily sell it so we get asked a lot of times if we purchase cover crop seed ourselves uh keith do you want to kind of answer that one for us sure we love buying cover crop seed from our customers because we believe that anything grown in a more regenerative type system is going to be a healthier more viable type seed so that's our preference is, is to have as many of our contract growers also be our customers um, because we know that it's going to be a better product. So with that being said, you know, we, we do have, you know, we sell a lot of seed, so we keep a lot of seed produced. We do have a lot of customers that are growing seed for us across uh, quite a few different states. Uh, and, you know, it varies a lot. The, the things that are the easiest to grow are probably the cereals. Uh, but that's good because that's what we also sell the most of. And so uh, oats, barley, triticale, rye, uh, all those sorts of things. We have large acreages under contract. And uh, those those are probably the easiest ones to get into simply because uh, you probably already have the equipment that you need to do that. It says it takes specialized stuff. Whereas if you're trying to grow like clovers or radishes or turnips or some things like that, you probably are going to need not only specialized equipment to harvest that, but you're going to need kind of a specialized environment. Uh, the thing that destroys seed quality quicker than anything is getting wet or rained on when it's ready to harvest. And so the best seed growing regions are areas like the Willamette Valley of Oregon, where they get a lot of rain from September through about July uh, and and you know from July through September they get hardly anything so they have a good growing season and then a pretty consistent very dry period in which they can harvest another area we get a lot of seed is the Treasure Valley in Idaho uh, Boise Nampa type area they literally are in a desert they only get six to eight inches of rainfall a year but they've got lots of irrigation water out of the rivers and so those make really good seed growing areas for those specialty type crops. What I would say is if you're interested in growing seed for green cover seed, uh, we have a full-time guy now. I used to do it myself and did a terrible job of it because I just didn't have time. Scott Ravencamp is our guy right now that handles all of those contract acres. So if you're interested, you can send any of the sales team uh, that you've been working with an email and just say, hey, I'm interested in growing seed for you guys. Can you connect me with Scott? And, or you can just email Scott directly. It's just scott at greencoverseed.com. And uh, just tell him what you're interested in doing. He, he's he's gonna have, you know, he has some fairly high standards. Uh, growing good quality seed is a lot different than just growing commodity grain. And so uh, he'll kind of walk you through some of the different things that we would expect of people that we would require people and um, if, if uh, you know all of those things sound reasonable and workable to you uh, then he'll continue to work with you and see if we can get you as part of the growing team so uh, yes we do that um, you know we have lots of people that are interested in that so uh, we're trying to select the best growers and also the best locations we like to spread our acres out but also keep them as close to here as possible to minimize freight costs keep the cost down for everybody.